opportunity for the total dealership to get a, to win a customer in sale of service and then turn around and make them a sales customer. And we'll talk about how often that happens because it's, it's a lot more often than you think. So markets are conversations, and service conversations are going to go on. With or without you, whether you choose to enter in, the, whether you choose to get into that, that uh, those PPC campaigns, or get into that market, or get into Facebook campaign, or you choose to get on Facebook and talk about it, make no mistake about it, you can't control it. One of the one of the biggest truths that's been floating around this whole conference is yes, you are no longer in control. It's that it's arguable whether we ever really were. <coughs> now I love my, when I first got to selling cars. This was, I, was I was trained by a guy named Clint McGee. Some of you guys may have heard of him. I was trained on tape by Clint McGee, not himself in person. I listened to those tapes, and I was so stupid to know how to sell a car any other way. I just did exactly what Clint told me to do. And one of the things he used to tell you to do was after you talked to the customer, you'd shook their hand, and you just turn and walk towards the car. Don't say that. Just walk. Don't look back. Just walk. <laughs> Don't follow you. And in many cases, they really did. They did, we did have some control at that time. Because the customer couldn't find out what the invoice of the car was, because the customer couldn't shop in their own there, because the customer couldn't leave us with the click of a back button. It was a little harder back then. Once you got out to buy a car, you kind of got out to buy a car, and you were a little committed. Kind of like the pig at that point. That's not the case anymore. So you're definitely, if there ever was any modicum of control, it's out the window now for sales and for service. And your customers are just as quick, everybody in here knows it. What do you, what, how many people know the drop off rate after the manufacturer's warranty is ended for service? 70. 60. He's close to 